And so, for the race itself. At number 10, Rob Boyd, winner of this race for the last two years. Can he make it three wins in a row? Boyd had tremendous training this summer. He's feeling very fit and confident. And as he comes down into the bottom section of the course, the time looks really good. He's had a great run. He storms across the finish in two minutes, 0 0.79. And that looks like a winning time. But he hadn't taken into account the veteran skier, Peter Muller. Muller, 14th on the start list. And skiing like a train as he comes down towards this split. The clock looks as if Muller is 0.41 of a second down, and that gives him first position at the halfway. Muller's last win here was back in 1980. He's been getting very fit, training well. He won the downhill in Bale last year, and that really boosted his confidence. So now he's giving the young boys on the World Cup circuit a run for their money as he comes down in sight of the finish. And a great time for Muller. He crosses the line, and that's in two minutes, 0.51. And now for Austria, number 31, Armin Assinger, having a great run. All eyes on the clock as he crosses the line, just one-tenth of a second behind Muller. That gives him second, so the Austrians are still a force in downhill skiing. That pushed Boyd into third place, so no hat-trick there. And that was sad, as Boyd's parents had come all the way just to watch. I had a few problems right at the start there. I went uh, a little wide on the first turn and got quite a, quite a bit of air off that first bump and was wide, but I think I just managed to carry the speed all the way through there. And uh, along the flats, apparently I was quite quick there. We really let them go. At the end of the mower, the wall there, I, again, I got a little bit late and went launching off the same kind of bump as the, just the top. Went quite wide and then uh, to the chest lot was good at the end a little bit bounced around and then in the finish pitch you just let him go like i usually do and pulled through and after 11 years on the world cup circuit veteran racer peter muller was excited as a rookie uh, for me downhill racing is the biggest thrill now in my life and it's adventure it's speed it makes pleasure and so when i can uh, beat the mountains that it makes a lot of pleasure and uh, I have a lot of experience, big experience, and so I, I use that I make not too much mistakes and makes a lot of things better than the other guys, and so it's possible to beat them. And so the results of that first race. <laughs> Rob Boyd for Canada, a great run, 2.79. Assinger, 2 minutes, 0.69. And up there at the top, Peter Muller, 2.51. Controversy at the start of the men's World Cup downhill season here in Val Gardena with the withdrawal of Mark Giridelli. He has left the resort and the whole controversy revolves around these pine needles. The jury decided on the night before the race to sprinkle pine needles on the course whether the day was sunny or not. Mark Giridelli's father Helmut believed that this was a disadvantage to Mark who was running in number one position and withdrew him from both races. Mr. Giridelli believes he's justified in making that decision.